Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Pinkster VR, and today, um, I am kind of playing Gorilla Tag. Today, I'm actually playing a Gorilla Tag knockoff called um, Gorilla Runners, or what they call it, Omni Tag, <coughs> or Project Omni. So, essentially, <coughs> uh, there's like a whole thing you have to do once. Before you, like, get into the game, you have to, like, change the version. It's, I'll show you how to do that at the end of the video. So, yeah, but right now I'm just going to show you the built-in mod menu and do, like, a mod showcase. So, yeah, let's get into it. All right, so the first mod <coughs> is um, Super Monkey. As you can see, I'm flying around. And to actually use this, it doesn't just automatically enable it when you click the Enable button. You have to hold A, and then you'll start flying wherever you look. I've just had a lot of people ask me that, about how to how it actually works, and that's how that works. Next is Speed Boost, which gives you a large speed boost, as you can see. I'm pretty sure I can jump to Tutorial from a Stump. <laughs> yeah, I can. See, I just jumped to Tutorial. I'm going to disable that. Next is platforms. So what platforms does is um I can't what any other platforms would do. And now, so this game got an update by the way. So before they were just black platforms, but now they're they're circle and they have a RGB and they match the uh the mod menu. The next one is no clip. <clears throat> if you hold A, you will no clip. I'd only do this with Super Monkey or Platforms, that way you don't fall out of the map. Next is No Tag Freeze, which only works in public servers. And yes, there is public servers in this game. Um, basically, when you get tagged, it'll make it so you don't have Tag Freeze. Next is Long Arms, and it basically overrides the world scale to, scale to really tiny, and so your arms are really long. So, yeah. I have very long arms, and the whole world looks tiny. So, disable that, or disable long arms. Next, mods. Here we go. Page 3, here we have RGB colors. This makes your monkey color RGB, but it only works if you're not in a server for some reason. I'm sure they'll fix that soon, but it only works if you're not in a server. Next is my least favorite mod out of all of them, but it's pretty cool how it works, is third-person camera. Oh! Oh, it's awful. Oh, it makes it makes me want to vomit. I'm not even kidding. It makes me want to vomit. Please. Save me. There we go. <clears throat> and our last mod is camera mod. And uh, it doesn't work when you record. But as you can see, it does put like a screen in front of you. And it shows you where the camera is. So I can put the camera here. And as you can see, uh, it does work. Like... Hey guys, I'm Pinkish VR. Welcome back to another video, and today we're gonna be doing is. Alright, so the next thing I'm gonna be showcasing is add ons. So, the first add on is FPS Watch, which shows how much FPS you have on your watch. I use this all the time. The next one is Slide Beta, which enables the slide beta in Gorilla Tag. This was the update that was only in the game for like two hours, I believe. It's pretty cool. And, uh, yeah. Alright, the last thing we're gonna be showcasing is, uh, custom maps. So, the first thing is Dodgeball. And it is a, uh, here, let me enable Super Monkey, this way it's easier to get around. And this is just a giant Dodgeball map for playing Dodgeball. I don't know what you're gonna play Dodgeball with. Like, there's no balls to throw at each other so um yeah there's not much to do here except for parkour so kind of kind of lame to be honest next one is dry mountain which is just mountains but everything is like dry and you know dead and the next thing we have is probably the coolest one minecraft and as you can see i'm in minecraft and it's 
This is very laggy, by the way, since it's like eight times the size of any other gorilla tag map. So, <clears throat> uh, page one. Disable Minecraft. Next, we have Old Mountain, which is like a, an old version of mountains, if mountains was like from the dinosaur age. Can't do the route, sadly. <clears throat> Like, I guess I kind of can, but... Yeah, that's all That's all Dry Mountain is. Or Old Mountain is. Sorry, I'm getting things mixed up here. <clears throat> and, uh, our last custom map is Stumble Guys. Uh, disable Old Mountain. Yeah, this is Stumble Guys, and as you can see, it is a huge Stumble Guys, which is the rip-off mobile version of Fall Guys. And it's just a huge Stumble Guys obstacle course. That I guess you can rate what is happening? Bro, what is happening? I'm stuck. I'm I'm stuck. Um Oh I'm I'm stuck. Get me out of here. What the What the heck? I'm I'm stuck in the sign. I'm I'm stuck in the sign. Okay, um well now I'm gonna show you how to actually um do this or enable this. Alright, so here I am on my mobile device and this doesn't just work on a phone or iPad. It can work on mobile, computer, and I think those are the only two things it can work on. But basically anything that you can have the quest app on and can connect to your VR headset, you're able to do this. <clears throat> What you want to do is you want to go to search, and you want to search Gorilla Runners. <clears throat> now, once you search it, if it says no results found, that means you're on the apps tab. Switch it to all, and then you'll see on the top, you'll see Gorilla Runners. Click on the game. And if you get this message, just click OK. And what you want to do is you want to click Get. Once you click Get, you want to get on your VR headset and you want to install the game. Once the game is finished installing, you want to scroll down until you see more information. You click the little arrow. You go down to Versions. You click on the version. And then you go to Channel. And it should be on Live when you install it. You want to change it to OmniTag. If you... The other versions don't have mods, I don't think. OmniTag is the only one with mods. So if you're looking to get the mods, switch it to OmniTag. And once you do that, you want to get back on your VR headset. And then the game should have an update. Once you finish updating it, then you should be in the version that has mods. And yeah, that's basically it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.